Hi everyone, it's Becca. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unbagging my April Ipsy um, bag. So, and I'll also be um, giving you my thoughts on products from last month. So I guess I will start with that. Um, so last month I got the Bokeshi's Tapered Blending Brush. Here's what it looks like. It is currently dirty because I've used it. Um, and I do really like that brush. It's a great addition to my collection. Not necessarily anything unique to my collection, but I've definitely been using it and enjoying it. The next is the Tarte Cosmetics Tartus Quick Dry um, Matte Lip Paint in Rosé, I believe was the one I got. And I have not worn this, but from my swatch of it, um, I did really like it here. I believe this is what I got. Yes, so here's a little sample. I did swatch it and it is a liquid lipstick. Um, so I've yet to wear it, but, um, ooh, I just scratched myself. But that I am excited to try that. The next one was the Monaco Eye Definer Retractable Crayon Liner in Black. Um, just because I have so many black liners and then that one was just weird and like chalky and just weird. I am, I don't know, I'm honestly, I was going to pass it along to someone, but I am honestly just might throw it out because that just weirded me out a little bit. The next one, which I've been loving and I'm currently wearing today under my makeup, is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. It does not have SPF as the one thing, but I do love it. It's pretty liquidy of a consistency, really just, um, you know, uh, it's easy to apply and then it does um, dry pretty quickly and it is really moisturizing, so I have been loving this. I understand why everyone loves this now. Um, but yeah, the only thing is it doesn't have SPF, but most of my foundations that I wear do have SPF, so I just won't wear this on days I'm not wearing makeup, which would be good because it is so expensive. And the last thing was this Doucet Formatic Eyeshadow Marisa. It is really pretty. I do not think I have used this yet. Maybe I used it once, um, but I am really excited because the pigmentation looks nice on that, so I will have to try that. But anyway, that was a little review. Let me know if you guys like that um, kind of style of reviewing last month's products that I got. Anyway, let's get into this month's. Um, so here is the bag. So it's a movie ticket. I actually think that's really cute. I mean, obviously, like, not the best made or whatever, but I do think it is really, really cute. It is do feel, like, pretty thick of a, like, foam-ish um, stupid card that I never care about. And then the first thing, my first product is just sitting out here. Um, what is this? The XOXO Lisa Frank. Um, again, if they had a card, that would be nice, but I guess I'll just go to their website and see actually what this is called. Um, let's see. So this is the Glamour Dolls, Glamour Dolls uh, X Lisa Frank Angle Blush Brush. So it is super cute. I mean, it's it's pretty kid-like, um, but it is of that unicorn trend. And, you know, it has this rose gold and then the, the white and, and pink tip. It is very soft. And then here it just has unicorns, rainbow, um, little butterflies, stars. So it does look kind of small for a blush brush. I think I'd use it more for contouring, maybe, but it seems kind of actually, does seem more of a, a blush, um, like density. It is very, very light. Maybe blush, okay, I wasn't sure if this was smelling weird. I don't think it does. Maybe blush or even highlighter. Um, but yeah, there's that. It is very, very, very soft. Um, and it is a little more funky to my collection, so. Okay, the next thing is the Ofra Cosmetics Peach Blush. It says using palettes and kits. It has the ingredients, made in the USA. So, let's see what this looks like. Okay, it is a little dusty in here. Ooh, this is gorgeous, though. I love a peach blush. Um, so there is some people that might be like a more blush topper, topper. Um, I think that's gorgeous. It has a nice sheen. I will definitely try that out. I'm really excited about that. I love peach blushes, especially this time of year. The next thing in here is this Defy and Inspire Paradise Island Nail Polish. Made in the U.S. I've never heard of this brand before, which is why I love Epsy, Epsy, Ipsy. Um, and this, yeah, Paradise Island is the color, and it's this gorgeous mint color. I love the bottle, too. Um, I'm really excited to try that. Like, let's look at the brush. Well, it has a nice, like, soft-to-the-touch matte um, handle. Okay, the color looks pretty nice, and the brush doesn't look terrible. So we will see. Sorry if the lighting's changing. Sun just went to go hide. The next thing in here is this Lucetta Beauty Volume... Reviving dry shampoo and it's like poopery the to refresh and revive hair without water So dry shampoo. I've never heard of this brand either Let's See if I can get the cap off 
pretty big of a spray there. I don't smell. Let me spray it on my fingers. Oh, okay, there's the smell. Ooh, it smells really good. Kind of that old school hairspray kind of smell. Um, oh, I love that. That reminds me of some hairspray my mom used to have. And then the last thing in here. Ooh, it's Ciate. What is this? Ciate Bamboo Bronzer. I believe in the shade Palm Island. Little cute Ciate. It does feel a little cheap, but it does look cute. And again, I don't know what's with the tiny bronzers, but I like their little bow there. The Ciate Signature. Well, it looks like a pretty decent color. Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, a little on the warm side. It's definitely more a bronzer, like they're saying, not a contour. But I like that. And then here's the bag again. So overall, I'm really excited. And I'm really excited about this nail polish. I did just see two. It's five free. So it's really exciting. Maybe I'll be able to find a new um, nail polish line. Hopefully it's not too expensive. This brush is quite nice. I mean, definitely unique and a little, like, young girly. But, you know, that's nice. I'm excited about this bronzer, sh bronzer shade. That looks nice. Really loving the scent of this um, dry shampoo. That's what's really getting me. And then that Ofra. I'm not going to pick it out because I don't want to drop it. Um, even though it did not come, you know, in a real package, it was just the loose sample. Um, I am really excited about that. So that looks like the, looks like I got one, two, three full size because the brush you could count as full size. And I believe that Ofra is full size and then the nail polish. So really loving this bag. This is a hit for me this month. Um, and so next month I will let you know if I've tried any of these products and what I think. So anyway, let me know down below what you guys got in your Ipsy bags. Um, and until next time, bye everyone.